For this postponement definitely affects the Super Eagles of Nigeria, but will it be affecting the football calendar? But well, we have Tony Bitoy live on the phone with us this morning. He is a Super Eagles media officer. Good morning to you, Tony. Yeah, good morning. Yeah, it's good to have you on our show. Thank you for the opportunity. Yeah, um, let's quickly talk about the coronavirus and uh, the, out the, the outbreak and the spread. Firstly, do you think that um, the Nigeria Professional Football League should be put on hold until we're sure the coronavirus is no more? Uh, well, um, I thought you were going to ask me about the Super Eagles and the fact that our games have been moved. We'll get to that. Uh, but but for, for the Nigeria Professional Football League, um, I, I think whatever actions they take should be dependent on whatever um, advice they get from the experts. Um, the, the biggest issue around the coronavirus is majorly the misinformation about it. Um, that has caused more damage than even the virus itself. Uh, but I think I've been impressed with the way the Federal Ministry of Health have handled it um, the regular updates we get, particularly from um, the Commissioner for Health in Lagos and uh, the Minister of Health in Abuja. And uh, generally, the way we've handled it has been, it's been top-notch. And I'm not surprised that uh, even the World Health Organization has been commending Nigeria for the way it has handled um, this issue of uh, the coronavirus. Mm. Okay. Until we have... Um, a situation where we can no longer continue with what we are doing now. I think what the, the LMC, the organizers of the MPFL, should do is strictly follow what advice uh, the medical experts offer them. All right, so now let's bring it to the Super Eagles of Nigeria. Now, a couple of players were hoping for a chance to feature for the team, but that will not come now until a later date. Let's talk about the postponement of the qualifiers. How are the players and officials taking this one? Yeah, of course. Football is important, but um, there are some issues and there are some other areas of life that um, are more important than football. Um, we understand the peculiarity of uh, our situation. Our players are coming from Europe, where the, the virus is rampaging. And um, even if we have been able to guarantee the safety of our own players. What about players from other countries? Um, so I, I think CAF in their wisdom have done the right thing. Uh, until such a time when this virus is under control yeah. and the things can be better monitored, not just for us as a country, we are doing well as a country, but other countries are also um, under focus now. So I think CAF uh, has done the right thing. Yes, our players wanted to come to play. They were already making plans, but I think it's uh, safer uh, to do what um, has been advised by CAF. Uh, let everybody stay put, ensure that we control this virus, and then football can continue later. All right. Now, do you think the football calendar will be affected after the shutdown of major footballing events due to the COVID-19? Of course. The, the, the football calendar is um, so tight that a delay of one or two weeks can alter a lot of things. Uh, these things are, have been so well planned, so well laid out, that if you miss a day, it takes a long time to recover. But uh, as we highlighted, we're talking about issues of life and health here. And these are very, very critical issues that um, we can adjust ourselves to accommodate. Definitely the program will be adjusted. Um, if we were playing a game a week before, you have probably to be prepared to play two games a week. Um, Europe is talking about moving the date for the Euro Championship. There are talks about moving the date for the Olympics. Uh, the leagues are on break, waiting for clearance to resume. So this all, all of this definitely will affect the calendar. Um, we just hope that this issue is resolved quickly, the virus is put under control, and then uh, the football calendar can resume. All right, thank you very much, Tony, for talking to us this morning. Thank you for the opportunity. Yes, and we're wishing the team uh, safety and in all measures. Yes, in all measures.
All right, that was up to Ibito, the media officer for the Super Eagles of Nigeria, speaking to us on uh, giving us updates on what the team is feeling and uh, how they are reacting to the outbreak of the coronavirus and the postponement of the CAF competitions, talking about the AFCON qualifiers and uh, if the footballing calendar will be affected with this postponement or a major shutdown of sporting events across the world. And yes, he confirmed it, that there will be um, a, a change in the footballing calendar 